Hello and welcome dear traders and investors. I'm glad to present to you the daily market review prepared by analysts and experts from fx.su portal. Here we go. Today it's October 10 and we're starting from euro dollar pair. We've got a stop hunting strategy presented by Andrew Sevchenko. Following the strong bearish momentum during the recent US session, EURUSD went into a correction, wave B, leaving the buyer's area untouched in the form of a double bottom between November 8 and November 9. This can be used as a reference for trading positions today. Looking at the three wave pattern A, B, and C. It represents yesterday's movement, traders could consider short positions, with stop loss at 1.0725. Take profit upon the breakdown of 1.0658. The trading order follows the framework of the price action at stop hunting strategies. Let's trade with the MACD indicator line on GBPUSD. Jakub Novak would help us. Long positions by pound when the quote hits 1.2245 and take profit at the price of 1.2288. Growth will occur after very good economic statistics for the UK. However, when buying, Make sure that the MACD line is above zero, or it just starts to rise from it. Pound can also be bought after two consecutive price tests of 1.2217. But the MACD line should be in an oversold area. As only by that will the market reverse to 1.2245 and 1.2288. For short positions, sell when pound reaches 1.2217 and take profit at the price of 1.2175. Pressure will continue after disappointing UK GDP data. However, when selling ensure that the MACD line lies below zero, or drops down from it. Pound could also be sold after two consecutive price tests of 1.2245. But the MACD line should be in the overboard area. As only by that will the market reverse to 1.2217 and 1.2175. And now it's time for USD CHF currency pair. Dean Leo presents. On H4, the USD CHF chart shows bullish momentum, targeting the first resistance level at 0.9069. The first support at 0 0.8982. An overlap support is the key potential buying area. The second support at 0 0.8945. Also an overlap support, reinforced by 78.6 Fibonacci retracement. Is a crucial as well. On the resistance side, the first resistance at 0 0.9069, an overlap resistance, might bring selling pressure. The second resistance at 0 0.9106, a multi-swing high resistance, could hinder further bullish movement. 
And finally, here's Laurie Bailey with AUD USD currency pair focused. Let's have a look. Yesterday, the Australian dollar managed to consolidate below the MACD indicator line. The Marlin oscillator also settled below the boundary of the downtrend territory. Today, it opened the day below the balance indicator line. It's a red line on graphic. Now all efforts will be directed towards reaching the target level of 0 0.6295. To break such a strong bearish potential, the price might settle above the MACD line. Above the level 0 0.6402. On the 4 hour chart, the price has settled below the level of 0 0.6388. The Marlin oscillator is moving in the bearish territory, leaning towards a decline in both the oscillator and the currency pair. The main scenario is reaching 0 0.6295. That's all for today. See you online soon and good luck.